tutorial number six this is where we use a few commands called as line to make all of these I could use a polyline if I wanted but I think I'm just gonna use line then the dimensions these dimensions are lined dimensions uh, different from the linear one that you've seen object snaps layers we have two layers over here dimension and object units are inches the most important thing in this exercise is the polar tracking which is down here so the polar tracking we are going to set it to 15 okay you just right click on there and go 15 now these tools that you see down here in the status bar are really really important especially one two three four okay now I have a couple classes uh, uploaded on my channel where you know obviously I have a lot of videos I have like close to 30 videos if you see over here and it explains about the object properties so you look into these two tutorials and you would understand how this works okay so I have tutorials on every single topic that AutoCAD has so I would ask you guys to go and take a look at these and try to understand uh, but if you already know the basics then you can just go straight to my tutorials which I'm working on and then learn from there okay so uh, polar tracking is going to be set at 15 then we have angular dimension that you see over here erase if we need to and the template used is again the same IMFG okay so let's start working on this side and where would a drawing like this be useful you know that's the question right so a drawing like this would be useful for civil engineers where they want to uh, plot your uh, they want to do a survey on your site and they do all the measurements and they put it up on a piece of paper okay so but still it's important to know how the process works as in how we draw these even though it looks a little easy but it does take a little time so just stay tuned let's see if I can finish it in another 12 minutes okay so starting I'm going to start from here line tool enter I'm going to make sure I'm, I'm on the right layer first which is the model front specify the line going this direction going 3 enter then from here I'm going 1.9 but 1.9 is at an angle of 150 okay so if I have my polar tracking snaps at 15 set at 15 you see every 15 it will snap okay see 135 150 and how far am I going on 150? I have to make sure that I align the mouse perfect position and then I type 1.9 hit enter now from here I am going 75 okay if you look with the reference this angle with reference to this line is how much this angle looks like it's a right angle which is 90 degrees so if I wanted to make it 75 degrees I'll just go down a little bit till it snaps and boom so that's my 75 degrees with respect to the bottom line and how far am I going over here on this one I'm going 1.4 enter now from here when I go I am going to go at what angle I am going at an angle of 90 is that 90 no you, you gotta look at these dotted lines when I'm moving towards the right see that's when it will get to 90 boom so that's the 90 angle and this angle I'm going 1.75 1.75 hit enter okay so I got that and now I'll be going this direction 2.9 
now that direction is with respect to this line if you see in our drawing and it's 60 degrees so that's 15 that's 30 that's 45 and that's 60 okay and how far is this going 2.9 enter okay so once I'm done with this I will be going down 90 degrees you see this is not 90 this is 90 even though it shows 60 because it w is with respect to this line you see here okay so I'm going 90 and I'm going 1.2 now you have to read on the left side of your screen I have the same exact drawing finished drawing completed so you could follow so now I will go this direction again this is 90 okay and I'm going at a distance of 1.65 and hit enter now from here I am going how much 75 degrees yeah I'm going 75 degrees so if this is 90 then 75 would be right there which is 135 okay and the distance is 0.9 point 0.9 enter now I go back this way and this way the angle is 15 I know it's tough to read but if you go over here that's the angle I'm talking about from here till here is 15 so we are gonna go at an angle of 15 this is 45 so 15 would be just going there and how far am I going on this one I'm going 2.2 enter from here I'm going straight down I'm going 2.9 enter and then from here how much am I going I'm going 60 okay so angle 60 would be where okay 15 30 45 60 so I think this might be the right angle but if not I'm going to fix it okay 15 30 45 60 and we are going 3.3 on this one and we end right here okay so now let's go do the dimensioning and see if everything came out right now I'm going to go here go to the uh, angular first to, to check if my angles are right because if my angles are right then everything is right okay so that's 60 work perfect then that's 120 that's 90 okay yeah I'll just move this a little bit more closer then I have this is 90 this should be 75 which it is and this is 150 okay so looks like we did a good job and everything looks perfect now these two angles are 15 okay so I'm going to stop right there with the angles and try to put my my distances in now if you look at the line we cannot use linear dimension because linear is for horizontal or vertical okay but all the lines that we have in our exercise is all angular right it, it's in certain angles so the best option would be take the aligned click on the first point click on the next point and give it a location click on the first point next point give it a location same thing you keep doing everywhere in this drawing 
and basically that shows the distance from you know from one end to the other okay so this is how you would do this exercise uh, even though it looks easy unless you set your polar tracking to 15 I'm pretty sure you would have a tough time doing all the calculations and working accordingly okay now you could go and set your polar tracking to whatever angles you want by default I think it's in 90 okay but you could click and change it with respect to your drawing I could always go to the settings and I could add angles I could hit new and I could put an angle and hit OK and that angle would show up in here okay you see 105 shows up here because that's what I added before so uh, polar tracking makes your life a lot more easier in fact all of these do so you have to make sure that your object snap is on and not off you cannot do a drawing with your object snap off so it's the most important thing if you are working with your object snap off then there's no way your drawing is going to be perfect there is no way that your lines are going to meet in the right place for example if I just turn it off right now and I am drawing a line and I draw the second line starting right there and you know going somewhere else right same thing I do over here and going up till that point now you might think it is perfect but it's not the lines don't meet each other if I zoom in see what happened there even though with zoom out it looks as if it's fine but that's a really wrong practice because there are so many things you cannot do if your lines are not meeting each other so you have to make sure that the lines snap onto each other and the only way to make it snap onto each other is by having your object snap on even if I look over here see it doesn't work like this so you have to make sure that your object snap is on and if I make my lines now I know everything is exactly starting and closing at the perfect point no matter how much I zoom okay so I hope you follow uh, how important the object snap is so don't do a single exercise without making sure that your object snap is turned on I can even go right click and settings where I could turn on all of these by hitting select all in the same place I see polar tracking I see grid dynamic input where you see all these numbers right whenever I'm moving my mouse on the screen it gives me these commands so these are all dynamic inputs I could turn it on or off but always leave them on it helps you draw more efficiently more faster more perfect okay so basically that uh, concludes this class this is what we were trying to achieve that's what we got again any questions feel free to ask but I hope you understood how this tutorial works pretty important okay thank you this is your instructor tutor Ali and I'll see you soon